news! You finally have money over your average monthly overhead. The capital, which is 60-40 split at this point, is organized into your three needs of purpose. But let me show you the value of your security need during your 365 days to success. Let's make a right left. Yo. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What is up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza. Thanks for watching my video. If this is your first time to my channel and you are looking to, I don't know, learn how to be successful in entertainment, then subscribe by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss out. This need will always be the, oh my god, I'm broke, money. The main philosophy around your security need is to protect yourself. A career in entertainment, like in all fields, is difficult. But when you have money protecting you in multiple ways, then it is not as scary. From your 18 month financial foundation to your three to six months safety net, it is and always will be very wise to have your security need protecting your purpose. And you know what? You can utilize its protection in a few ways. First thing I like to do is open up a protective account. For all you beginners out there, a high yielding business savings account is a good initial start for anyone. If a six month to a year long bond is a little risky for you. It makes you uncomfortable. It feels far too advanced at this point. You can skip it and just utilize the savings account. Nowadays, a high yielding business savings account might bring you a 1.6% APY, which is annual percentage yield. If I were you, I would go around and interview banks to see which ones work best for you and your particular needs. If you do want to jump into a bond, the longer you lock your money into that bond, the better the APY is, usually. You might find one with an APY as high as 5%, but again, research, 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 always do your homework, ask around, and don't rely on your first find. And of course, these numbers are based on the year 2018. It could go up, it could go down. Who knows? You could be a time traveler from 1978 and be like, holy crap, these numbers are way different. And then I, you know, just saying. Your second course of action would be tying your security into long term investments. This could be anything such as a life insurance policy, which is basically money being kept in there to help your family and, or, and yourself in a case of need or if you're in a strong tight bind you can take some money out of it again research 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 money market funds bonds an ira and even potentially putting money or an investment into buying a house because the secret is in this situation it's long term and if you put your money into a, an asset that is considered long term and potentially high yielding and you can't touch it it's protected from you as well, because usually there are penalties from taking money out early on certain things that you would invest in these situations, such as a few of the things I named, like a bond, for example. You get penalized if you take money out early. Another option could potentially be a high-end stock. Buying up stock. An example, Tesla or Google. You may not have a huge, quick return on that investment, but the slow growth and protection of that particular investment will give you a good ROI in the end. Helpful tip! The purpose of your three needs of purpose is to diversify. This keeps your money always moving and also protects it by being in different avenues. Basically, keeping all your eggs in a different basket. So, do some research, research, research into long-term investments for your security need. Even if your ROI is small, but you can protect and keep your money there, it is worth it. But no matter where you put it, understand why and where your money is being put for a rainy day. But most importantly, remember, never ever, ever, under no circumstances, touch this money unless you are dead broke. This is your start over money. 
This is the money that's going to help you get back on your feet to do what you need to do, get back to where you want to be. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribe for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, don't work too hard. proactive and uh come to look at the people around you you know you, you kind of you want to work together and you want to <laughs> grow together and by now you know it's all about rising together do you have what it takes to make a right left here or do you punk or do you do you have what it takes to make a right left here oh dear